What is up guys? It's Rocky here. Welcome back to Game with Cos, but today we have a actual very different game. This is Defense War Destiny Child Edition. This is a tower defense game, but has PvP elements to it. So it's a strategy based game, which I really am enjoying. And I want to bring it to you guys to see what you guys think about this game. So I've been enjoying it behind the scenes as I'm playing it very casually right now. Um, but it, what I enjoy from it is the, the strategy based part of the game. Strategy games like this do pique my interest quite a bit. <laughs> I love tower defense games. I've always loved them, even as a kid. Uh, my first introduction was the balloon tower defense game that was played on school computers. I'm, get, I'm hoping you guys know what I'm talking about on that. But that was literally my go-to game on that. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. So we're going to literally hop into a PvP match. Um, currently, I'm at level 4 as I've been playing just a little bit. And round 1 is refrigerator, so it's randomly selected. And basically what you want to do is you're going to set up your base team here. Depending on how your setup is, what characters you use is going to determine uh, what's going on here. So my upgrade that I got was I start off with one level 3 unit. And then if you combine your units, you can turn it into level 2. This is my favorite unit right here, which I'm actually going to enhance her power to a plus 1. But she is my favorite unit because she's very fast and do some really good damage and can keep the enemies back at bay. And what uh, you're going to want to do is just completely strategize how you want to do it. You do want a lot of units on the field. But you also want strong units as well. You don't want just a bunch of units toward their level 1 to be able to do not much damage. So your main goal is to basically get duplicates right off the bat on the units. Because the more duplicates you have, the more power you can put into these units. And you can't combine a 1 star with a 2 star, unfortunately. So this is where it gets complicated. So I've got the 2 star there. And sometimes they switch characters. Which is something that is going to come in rare... Uh, opportunities so let's see what happens here so what I'm gonna have to do is actually gonna have to do a boost because he is actually catching up to me so let's do this because we don't want that refrigerator to have an additional health when you have enemies on the field it does add to an extra bar of health there for the uh, enemy you definitely don't want that and when you are frozen the only way to unlock it is to combine it again with another character so we have that Nice and knocked out. So we're gonna go ahead and prep things up. Get that done and uh, combine them. So now I do have the option to double up and uh, do these two units together, but I'm actually gonna save them because they're gonna do a good amount of damage now. And you're just gonna wanna strategize. The more damage you can do, the faster, the better. Because then you're gonna be giving them more difficult enemies to fight against on the tower here or the little defense uh, map. As you can see, they're, they're starting to stack up now. Now she's introduced her power up. We're gonna actually introduce our power up on our units here as well, on the field. Kind of power up everything on the field and get that going. So we're actually gonna need to do the same thing here. You do have three health and you're just gonna need to strategize very well. Add some more units to the thing and that is it we have knocked out the opponent's team as you can see that's how this game works and it just gets harder and harder for both parties of the game and the purpose is to uh, be able to win the fastest to get the most amount of rewards and then we just put that on a timer so the best way to see it's kind of like clash of clans or yeah clash royale clash royale not Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, where you go in and battle, and once you beat all three of their towers, then you get one of these suitcases, or the similar to way Power Rangers Legacy War works, where you get a couple units, uh, um, and you, uh, during the battle, you get a, a little power node, I don't know what they're called right now, a morpher, morpher uh, something, power morpher grid thing, but uh, just a little introduction, just wanted to share with you guys should have a couple things here we do have some more of these gems as we did just go into maintenance Ooh, artemis common cool definitely like those and we'll get into breakdowns of different units and why you would want to choose it why you wouldn't want to choose it 
how you want to play the game, whether you want to kind of mo fo mainly focus on poison or freeze or slow down. There's a lot of good things to get into, which we will definitely do a little bit more slowly but surely on this channel. But I just wanted to introduce this game to y'all to get your opinions on what you guys think. Are you guys currently playing it? Uh, what are your thoughts of the gameplay of this? This is very strategy based. So <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, and share with a friend or two or three. As always, live free, work hard, and based on. Join me tomorrow for some more Dragon Ball Legends content, and let me know what you guys think of Defense War Destiny Child Edition. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.